There are two types of people, one who have money and are willing to invest it and two, the ones who are in need of money and they often go to banks to get the loans. Let's see what are mortgage-backed securities and how both these kinds of people are involved in creation and usage of these securities. We should first understand what is a mortgage. Suppose I am in need of a loan. I want to buy a new house and I need some funding for the same. So I go to a bank, I approach a bank and ask the bank to provide me a loan. So bank is not going to provide me the loan for free. Although it is willing to provide me a loan on a condition that I'll be paying the interest and I'll return the principal amount, but that's not enough. I might default on the payment of that principal amount and that interest. So bank needs some security. So when I approach the bank, bank says that, okay, I'll provide you the loan, no problem, but I have one condition. And that one condition is that you'll provide me collateral. You will provide the house which you are buying with this money as a collateral. That means if I am not able to repay the bank the loan which I have taken, then the bank has the power to confiscate my property, the house which I bought using that money, sell it off and get the amount from me. So this thing is known as a mortgage. Now let's discuss what is this mortgage backed security. From the very name, it's clear that it's a new security which is created that has a backing of mortgages. Now let's see how this thing gets created. So moving ahead with our example, this is me and I wanted to take a home loan. I approached the bank that please provide me with the loan. Bank taking this house as a mortgage okay, from me gave me the loan. So the bank has this mortgage pool with it. Okay, it has given me the loan which I have to repay later on. So there's a promise to repay the principal amount along with certain interests, right? So now, like me, there might be many more people who have taken a loan from the bank and have built up this mortgage pool of the bank. So bank has a lot of assets uh, in its books now. Loans are bank's assets because we are going to repay the bank. Bank will get back that money in future. But these assets are actually illiquid for the bank. They are not immediately generating the money for the bank. We have taken a home loan, but there is a promise to repay it later. I might repay the loan after 5 years, after 10 years, or after 15 years, or as decided. But Till that time, bank wants to earn something more. It wants to get benefit during this entire process. It wants to have some liquidity. So what banks can do is they can take this mortgage pool. They have a lot of um, such assets being provided to the bank as collateral. So bank will take this mortgage pool, create a separate entity okay, called the special purpose vehicle. If it does not want to create its own entity, then it can sell off these mortgage pools to other investment banks or to other government entities which are involved in the process of creation of new securities. So what bank is doing here? It is selling this mortgage pool which it has. Right. Now this separate entity will use this mortgage pool. It will have a major pool of lot of mortgages which are illiquid. So this firm converts this pool of mortgages into new securities which will further be issued to the investors. Okay, so using this mortgages, new shares, new securities have been created. They will be rated by the credit rating agencies and then they are ready for sale in the market. Once this special purpose entity converts these mortgages into new securities, these securities are then sold to the investors in the markets. And this brings us to the second category of people who are utilizing this security, who are buying this security, they have the money, they are investing over here. Now, what is the benefit which bank is going to get from this situation? See, bank created this entity, converted its illiquid assets into liquid securities. You, now, when the investors will buy these securities, they will pay the money. This money goes to bank, which bank can further use to lend others. So, during the securitization process, 
bank is able to convert its illiquid assets into liquid assets now if even this uh, special purpose vehicle is not owned by the bank if bank is selling its mortgage pool to some other uh, investment bank or some other government entity then also when i will repay, repay the bank the money in the form of interest or principal bank will charge something out of it so that it gets benefit remaining it will provide to this investment bank or this government company which will keep its share of profit and pr uh, provide the remaining money to the investors in the form of returns so this is how this whole concept work so using the existing home loans where some property was provided and loan was taken so using this mortgage pool new securities are created now those new securities are having the backing of mortgage the collateral which you have given and taken a loan so that's why they are called the mortgage backed securities this was all about this concept i hope it was clear